sideline hip rotation with roller. I'm gonna set up so I'm lying on my side with the top leg, meaning the leg that's facing the ceiling, the inside of that knee, my calf, and my ankle bone are all up on the roller, okay? I only wanna be at around 90 degrees or even slightly below 90 degrees. I'll let you know if you need to go less than 90 degrees in your program. The second key part of this is like the setup. So I don't wanna be starting in this position. You can see how much I'm rotated towards you right now. I wanna make sure that there's a straight line going from my right hip pocket up through my left hip pocket. If I'm rotated too far with whatever leg is up top, I'm out of position to do this exercise and get the intended benefit, which we're trying to increase flexion, internal rotation, and adduction. Where the demands are gonna be there for you to successfully do movements like squats, split squats, deadlifts, basically any lower body activity where that internal rotation, adduction, and hip flexion is necessary to go through a full range of motion and get the intended benefit of those exercises. So from here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna inhale through the nose. I'm gonna feel a little bit of a stretch through the low back and upper glute on the left side. I'm gonna exhale, push into the roller with the inside of my knee and the inside of my ankle. And I'm thinking about turning my hip pocket towards you right now. It's very minimal. Okay, and then I go back after I finish my exhale, I can release the pressure on the roller so I'm not pushing anymore. I reset and I repeat. Inhale. And then I exhale. To see if this is effective for you, what you can do before you do this drill, test and retest your straight leg raise. So lay on your back, feet together, slowly lift your leg up. You should notice if done properly, this will get you more range of motion through that straight leg raise and or you'll feel less tension through your hamstrings.